Welcome back to Assassin's Costume. Off screen, I've collected some more cockades. It turns out that if you get enough of those, you get to change outfits. You get to add a color scheme. I am now fancy as hell. I'm just so incredibly stealthy. Nobody will expect this bright red person to be doing any kind of sneaking at all. It's the perfect disguise. There are actually uh, many more color schemes available, but this was the most garish one which doesn't cost creed points, so I thought I'd try it out. Hell yes. Man, look at that. That is pretty good. Okay, let's see what's going on in Paris. I read in a random newspaper on the street uh, that the Prince Dauphin is reported to be still Everything alive, right, surprisingly. Which is interesting because um, it was kind of mentioned as a casual aside that King Louis himself is dead and has been dead for some time. So that, that just happened off screen and wasn't mentioned, I guess? It just wasn't important? We're really not telling the story of the revolution here, are we? What story are we telling? You look terrible. For months, I have been wrangling the Brotherhood, the National Assembly, and the King. Taken all together, they have the political acumen of an especially stupid village council. Hang on. I believe that excuses my appearance, young man. I meant no disrespect, mentor. I'm only concerned. Forget me, Arno. Weep for France. But enough politics. I hope you have happier news. What of Lord de la Salle's murderers? The King of Beggars is dead. He was carrying this. Oppose on pay. You should keep it. It'll do no one any good mouldering in a forgotten crypt. It's a gun. Carry it with honor. Thank you. I will. The mission. I've already got a gun. The King of Beggars and Sivert were only pawns in a larger game. Someone sent them after Monsieur de la Serre. Templars do nothing simply, do they? Do you have anything solid on this mysterious chess player? The only lead I have is the instrument that killed De La Serre, a pin fashioned by a silversmith named Germain. But how he's involved, I can't yet say. It seems your course is clear. Find the silversmith, learn what part he plays. Okay, the plot just became less clear in two ways as a result of one short cutscene. First of all, um, apparently the king is not dead, so... I don't know, is the game kind of achronous and set across several periods? Maybe the revolution is in fact so much of a backdrop that it can be just shuffled around at will? I don't know. So that's odd. But whatever, I'm sure we'll find out more about that at least. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that we'll find out more about that, but I think we should. Oh, no. What's Sorry, I'd respond with your name, but I don't know it because... There's kind of a disparity of information here. Now, where am I to go next? Somewhere. I've got to find the mission objective marker here. Oh yeah, so the other thing which just became more confusing as a result of that cutscene. Apparently I'm still being sent on this fanatical quest to track down De La Serre's killer. Ha! <laughs> Underground, that's cool. Why? Why is this considered so important? Like, I don't actually get it. Why are we hunting and killing the murderers of the former Templar Grand Master, who, we are well aware, were themselves Templars, even though there was this, like, truce between De La Serre and Mirabeau, it, it just, it doesn't actually make sense that we're doing this. And, like, that... And we know Elise is also being hunted by the Templars. 
So they clearly, clearly had a falling out. I don't know, it seems to me like Arno is just assuming it makes sense for people to help him with his personal revenge quest. And the assassins are going along with it for some reason without even asking questions. So they probably have a different motive. That or the game is poorly written and uh, there's a distinct possibility of that. That took a while to find. City's got a lot of icons these days. Still a bunch of districts I haven't unlocked and iconified as well. Okay, I'm heading there. <laughs> In my cool new red clothes. They're actually the same clothes as before. Actually, I think I changed one or two pieces of armor. Um, but I have some of the same and still the same sword. But uh, they're a cool new color. Exactly one color. So speaking of new equipment, let's check out this gun I was given. Arno's pistol. Silver plated pistol. French cavalry officers. I'm not sure which one's the new one. I could buy a pepper shot, but I'm not going to. I think one of these is the new one. But mine's already better anyway, so. Eh. Not a big deal, apart from the fact that this gun killed me at one point. The King of the Beggars got me with it, so it does have a history. But I think I'll avoid the hair of the dog that shot me. Just gonna grab a treasure chest here. Or at least I will attempt to. The game has a... <laughs> I completely got mixed up there. The game has a nasty habit, I was gonna say of having unlocked chests hidden behind locked doors so you can't necessarily tell whether you're going to be able to get something or not. Sorry. That was meant to be a clean double assassination but I forgot that I don't have the double air assassination skill. Aha! It's... Money. Which is good, I'm broke after buying new clothes and outfits. There's a lot of different equipment in the game, I haven't really shown it on screen because it's boring. But basically you get to upgrade your gear in like four or five different equipment slots. And there's all these stats it can have, like how much of a health bonus it provides, whether it gives you like a bonus to carry extra bombs. Uh, stuff like reduce the noise you make in sneaking mode, there's a lot of different things it can do. So you can actually customize yourself quite a bit. Of course the better stuff has prerequisites like do certain side missions or pay a lot of money. So is this where the silversmith lives on a rooftop? Maybe he lives under the rooftop. Francois Germain. I knew a guy called Germain once, with a J. From New Zealand. Or New Zealand, as he would have put it. Well, that's not suspicious, is it? Hmm. I guess being a silversmith pays very well. See, I would have expected the game at this point to be pointing out things like, okay, some people don't have any bread and other people are living in large mansions, and that's why there's rioting in the streets, right? It's just, it's just not even mentioned. Like, there's a revolution happening, or it has happened, or something. It's not clear, which is ridiculous. I'm having fun with the game, though. Much better game than I thought it would be. I think... I think if they've now got the bugs out of the new engine, then the next entry in the series 
is likely to be at minimum a competent game. It might not be interesting. It's unlikely to be great unless they've severely increased their creativity. But it's got a better chance at it. But they could find a way to screw it up again, I guess. That's not actually who I intended to jump on, but got both of them, so whatever. There are a lot of soldiers here. Wow, shit. There's one more than I thought. I thought there was a lot, but there was a lot plus one. A lotine. Okay, thankfully I'm carrying medicine. Yeah. Okay, and everyone is totally super alerted now. Hmm. Thankfully, I have the power of third person mode. I don't really know why I'm bothering to use a stealthy kill here. It's a good habit to be in. No one's rung the alarm bell for some reason. Alright, where am I going? Not that way, not that way. One of these many ways. Oh, they're all roughly equivalent, aren't they? Lots of soldiers and corridors. Oh yes, I remember now. Before I got distracted and then got shot, I was trying to make my way inside roughly where this artifact icon is. So I climbed down onto that balcony, and that's where things started going wrong. Let's do it again. Ah, there's a door to lockpick. And I've never even seen him leave that room, let alone come down the stairs. Dedicated to his work, is he? Obsessed, more like. I don't think he really even knows we're here. So the guards think that M. Germain is obsessed. That's cool, I guess. Not super pertinent. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder if either of those guys classifies as a brute, because if so, I've got this side objective here. Yep. Turns out he's a brute. <laughs> also a brute. I'm out of Berserk Blades, but that's funny. It's just yelling in rage. Hey look, it's Jermaine, probably. I mean he was golden, so. That's him! The traitor! Judas! You must suffer! The time is part of the come! Bless you! Wow! He's caught overacting. He's dying very slowly. I can start looting him. Wow. I guess you just kind of reach into his pockets as he collapses. Take out a playing card. Alright. Monsieur Germain? The silversmith? Thank God. They've been holding me for months. Please, get me out of here. His eyes. First, I need to know about this. His eyes. No time. I'll tell you all I know once we're away. But we must leave before the guards return. Fine. Let's He's go. Sage. No. They'll be watching the front entrance. We'll have to go downstairs and across. Follow me then. And stay quiet. Anu cannot trust a word this guy says. But he doesn't know that. I know that. What's the database entry like? A silversmith and son of a silversmith. One of the legends of his trade, doomed to die in obscurity, ill defined scandal, kicked out of his accommodation. Oh. And the assassins don't realize yet that he's a sage. Nice. Is someone there? <laughs> yes, someone is here. <laughs> here I was nicely hiding from the others. <laughs> okay. Keep moving. Of course. 
Let me give you the really brief recap version if you're not familiar with the Assassin's Wait. Creed meta plot. As I imagine you aren't, because why would you be? Sages. Okay, so there were aliens 75,000 years ago. Actually, they weren't aliens. They were the original inhabitants of the planet Earth. We've talked about this before. The Precursors, Assassins and Templars are battling, battling over their remains, etc. But the Precursors aren't all dead. They're only all mostly dead. Specifically, two of them semi-survived. One is Juno, who is like the evil Precursor. And uh, Juno survived by putting herself on the internet. She, like, she lives in the cloud now. She is a computer, or possibly several computers. It's not clear. The technology is involved. She's digital, you know, like old science fiction, whatever. Um, oh my god, I just fucking realized that the Helix, right? I've actually been making jokes about it being like the Matrix, the Helix. But, in fact, that's like half the point of the name, because Juno, in fact, lives in the Helix. Ha 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 ha, very well fucking done, okay. Um... <laughs> Wait. Okay, so Juno was one of the precursors, she was one of the few who were chosen to live to try and save the world, turned evil. One of the reasons she turned evil is her husband, uh, Aibo or something, I think that's a Japanese dog, but it might have been his name. Uh, her husband is dead, and she got super upset about that. Because uh, he tried, died trying to... I don't, don't even remember. Anyway, um, she found a way to make him not as dead. Which is, due to the rather complicated circumstances of his death, uh, she was able to get his genetic code, or something, hidden away in the genetic code of humanity. Now, since precursor technology and, in fact, their sixth sense uh, includes the ability to, like, relive genetic memories. This is actually sufficient in Juno's husband's yes, case um, for him to be effectively reborn again and again. So every so often a human is born, sometimes more than one at the same time, who is actually a resurrected precursor. Sort of. He's like 6% precursor, but that's still pretty good. Anyway, they have one green eye and one brown eye. They all look exactly like that. They tend to remember the precursor memories over time, and they are batshit insane. They are not nice people. Sages are dangerous. Where's, where's the smoke? I threw a smoke grenade. Let's try that again. Okay, that's what I was expecting. I love the last known position Best indicator. One. Comes yeah. up at really funny times. Certainly. Keep one eye to the roofs. They often post sentries there as well. Just how important are you as a prisoner? I wonder, do the Templars of this era know that he is a sage? Is he really a prisoner at all? What could the pin be? Because uh, he's going to have his own agenda. Juno is not on any human side. All right, I guess I gotta get up onto the rooftops. Si vous espériez passer inaperçu, c'est raté. Stop you! Yes, you! Hey, shit! Show yourself. Come back here and fight! No. Actually, I mean, uh. Yes. Oh shit, a gun. Oh my god. He's got me dead to rights and just dead. I should have said he's got me bang to rights, but you know. That might have been a little too on the nose. Wow, so leaping through the air, entire body in a kind of straight up and down posture. A bullet takes me in the chest. That's a pretty emphatic death, like it's pretty actual. You're certainly dead when that happens. Let's try and avoid that this time. Okay, what I'll do is... Dap. I'll just get out of the restricted area so they don't actually attack me yet, and then I'll go around. You know, death from above, and this time... 
Um, the death won't be above me, it will be me. That seems better. My previous approach... Previous approach did not have a lot of subtlety to it. That was extremely subtle. I mean, running around the rooftops in a bright red uniform can't really be considered unsubtle by anyone's book. Alright. Help me! Germain! Don't nope. change of plans. To do anything foolish, let the silversmith go. Stay back. Yep, crazy as a mongoose. I'll be good. What have I done? Only what you had to. Come, we must go. Yes, of course. Then again, I may be being unkind here. Uh, the sages, you know, they they are the reincarnated guy to different extents, and they recover their memories at different speeds. And it is possible that this one is, like, not fully ensaged, or not yet. So perhaps he is, in fact, like, genuinely remorseful at having killed someone for the first time and stuff. Maybe. Thank you, my friend. You've done me a great service today. Perhaps you can return the favor. Yes, of course. May I? I may prefer it some years ago, on a private contract. A man called Lafreniere. That seemed an unusual commission. I confess, curiosity got the better of me. Recently, I started to look into Lafreniere's background, and what I discovered, you wouldn't believe it. He's a Templar. Is that what you found? Yes. I, I believe so. I didn't know how to take it. In any case, I was careless, and Lafreniere found out about my schemes. Kept me in the house arrest ever since. I do as he bids. Weapons mostly. Where can I find him? Well, Freddier is a very difficult man to pin down. Not long ago, I overheard him talking about protecting the shipments at La Loublay. It sounded ominous, whatever he meant. Oh, I ask, why are you so interested in him? killed someone very dear to me. I want to know why. I see. You have my sympathies. They will come looking for you again. Make yourself scarce. Yes, I believe I might. <laughs> Notice how little sense this story made? Lefrenier has him under house arrest, but he knows all his movements, and he gets to live in a big mansion with a lot of guards. And uh, they had him as silversmith, supposedly, making weapons. Now, there are better materials for weapon crafting than silver. Interesting stuff. So, obviously, for metagame reasons, I am meant to not trust that guy if I've played any of the previous games. I mean, they could subvert it and make it turn out that he is, in fact, a hero figure or whatever, but... Uh, the series doesn't really go in for subversion recently. I'm not sure the current writing team are quite up to the task. In fact, they don't seem to have made good and bad people per se. Anyway. Sorry, I'm just like ransacking this person's house in order to find fuck, a level 2 box chest. Well, I can't open that, so I'll take a recording break.